Просто Ютуб, обратно сме тук и днес ще тренираме с, сега ще видите кой. Залата е една единствена бюрост. Това е Dinner Gym. Тук няма коли за по 200 стабона спрени. И сега ще им дали ще му пуснат да тренирам и как работят нещата тук. Защото по принцип тренировката струва 100 ля. Не знам къде съм. Само знам да съм бюрост. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This guy right here. Just entered the world's famous Binus Gym here in Dubai. And as you already know, you entered the first room, now you're here in the second room, which is basically legs. We have a third one right here, which is basically the Panata room. And then we have a kind of an outside gym, a fourth room. We have therapists, we have restaurants in here, we have a barber, we have everything you need in here. The only thing which is missing is apartments. That's the thing. We have all the pros right here, like him. I mean, he's an Olympian, top five Olympian, so I can't really compare, but I'll be there, I'll be there. Come on, you're like this close. I'll be there. Yes, come on. So, you're basically doing straight sets or back, uh, back off sets and so on. This is just to pre-exhaust to load the muscle okay. with blood. Okay. And as it's loaded with blood and pumped, mm. we're gonna stretch it out. Okay. Gonna like going really deep, stuff like that lift. Yeah. Try to like destroy muscle. This machine is so good actually. I love it. It's so good. It's rock and roll time, ladies and gentlemen. And another pro <laughs> entered the place. This guy right here, <coughs> Mr. Valentin, IPB Pro Classic Physique Olympia competitor. I met him last year in a little side room just to eat a little rice. <laughs> and now we're killing hams and back together. He's looking for athletes or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He is a bodybuilder too and his mom cooked his food like 10 years ago and he, she's still cooking. She's the chef. She's still cooking. Stiff leg, stiff leg. You go more? Completely stretch it out, just seven degrees. There you go. Pull it off on the backside. There you go. It's not deadlifting, it's like really, really stiff deads. Yep. They don't need yep. to train here, they can enter the private gym in the gym. We competed together in Bucharest, in Romania Muscle Fest. Oh really? Yeah. That's where we met. And we've been keeping in touch since then. It's been like many, many years. He was one of the first guys I met here in Dubai and he helped me in every aspect. Like yeah. whatever I needed, he was there. He's so good, bro. All props to him. Special credit for Abdullah. He's the best. Good. Yes. Nice, Mike. Come on. Let's go. Good. Rocking, yes. Prepping straight for Olympia. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna do the Dubai show. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I'll be doing Spain. After Spain I'm gonna fly here, do Dubai, and then I'm half I have my own show in Bulgaria this year. We have uh, no qualifier for the Olympia. 
Do you know who else is competing in Dubai? No. I heard Ruff. Hmm? I heard Ruff Diesel is competing here. Oh yeah? Good. I know for a fact that Mike Mama the bull? The bull, he's not doing it. He's qualified. He's qualified. Makes no sense. Not really. Yeah, so. I mean, he's in shape around, you know, all year. Urs is qualified, Urs is now in off season, so he won't do it. Man, he's 60 pound over Red I don't know how he's gonna do it. <laughs> That's way too much. <laughs> That's way too much, man. We'll see. I, I think he should lose some muscle. He has to. He has to. <laughs> Maybe that's the key, I don't know. Strong. Let's remove one point. One seven. One fifth, yeah. Okay. One yellow plate. If I'm gonna hurt myself right now, it's gonna be a good thumbnail. Mike Summerfeld pulled himself out from the Olympia. It's a kickbait. <laughs> Let's go, Mike. It's like 10 months ago I used that weight. Okay, so it's been a while. Uh -huh. One year. Almost. Again. Yes, come on. One more. And to the bank. Yes. Yes, and again. Yeah. <laughs> we need this one. I love the machine. Exercise number three is going to be flying hamstring curl. So Mike is going to take us through a drop set, which is actually included with his, uh, he has his own drop six. And basically, just the, when whenever we drop the weight, it, it, it bounces off, right? Yeah, it pops out. It pops out and it just drops the weight. So it's like easier way to, there you go, you can check it out. I'm uh, thinking about bringing them to Dubai and sell it on Amazon. Yeah, well, Amazon is a business. The increasing weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then we're starting from the top and dropping Working it down. your hips exactly and come up a little with your back come up there you go and press your hips against the head there you go hips low don't lift your butt contract contract there you go hips down hips down Push your glutes to the pad. There you go. Full contraction. There you go. Yep. It's time for some magic. I've never used them, so I have no idea what to expect. So, let me guess. I'm wrap. I'm wrap. I'm wrap. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> That's gonna be a killer set. <laughs> That's gonna be a killer set. So basically, the thing is, you have like three to five seconds to switch the weight, you know? Yeah, yeah. Here's not even a second. You lock out, yeah. it pops out, and you, you know, continue, continue. So you basically don't stop. No, no. Yeah, 
Go on. Yep. Again. Okay. And that's a set. <laughs> Try to not ditch the weight. As the weight ditches, the pin drops out. Yeah, so I have to keep it. Intention. Intention. Oh, shit. <laughs> Slowly. Contract, contract, contract. No momentum. Come on, strong. There you go. All the way, come on. And pull. Come on. Slow it down, slow it down. Let's go. Control, control. Oh, slow down the negative. Oh. Kill it. Let's go. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> now I know how it works, you know, because even if you drop it like one centimeter less, it's gonna pop out. On the first set I could have done more like two or three reps at least. But I messed it up. I messed it up because I, yeah, I let it go. like no momentum yeah. the moment you hold the weight on top and like go slowly down your muscle have to work there's yep. like no momentum no nothing i love that all right that was good we're doing something which is called hyper ass tension it's a hyper extension because we're not extending the back we're just contracting hamstrings and glutes and your your back is like completely loose Okay. And Makes then we're sense. gonna superset it with lying leg curls on the floor with the dumbbell. Over the dumbbell. And the thing here is, you need to squeeze the dumbbells together, which activates your adductors on top. Makes sense. Pressing hips down, as we did on the leg curl, mm -hmm. the lying one, and then like pressing the dumbbell together and lift it, lift it, lift okay. it. So I see you have a lot of hamstring exercises and volume. You, is it a body part that you try to improve for this year's Olympia? Exactly. So I, I hit it twice a week. Yeah. And I switch it. We're doing now hamstrings and gonna going to back. Yeah. And the next exercise starts with back and ends with hamstrings.
Good. One more. Yes. Good. Okay. I see. Yes. Exactly, all the way down, 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 and up. Until you hit, exactly. That's the highest contracting point. And up. And squeezing the dumbbell together. Exactly. There you go. Okay, move a little faster. Just pump it. There you go. Perfect, perfect. Bring the dumbbell to your chest. There you go. All the way down, all the way down, pull back up. All the way down, and now press, come up with the hips. There you go, and pull, exactly. Can you see his backside is moving like a rubber band. Now it's pulling together. And it gets pumped, like it's stretched. The moment you can't get a good contraction, drop the weight and pump it out. Come on. Four. Let's go faster. Three. Two. Come on, come on. Two more. One. Come on, last one. There you go. Two. One. <laughs> Two weeks out from the show. It's gonna fucking kill you. It's better than a roller coaster. <laughs> yes. Yes. Exactly. If you don't sell shirts, like, no. But anyway, yes, we are, we are stepping on the same stage, but we are friends and we Come need on. to support each other. Well, we're going to fight each other for 10 minutes, and 10 minutes is not worth fuck on like 10 years of friendship. Man, on, that's man. so fucking... If everyone like, well, like, was thinking like you, huh, man. Nobody thinks like that nowadays. Thank to God, Thank God. that uh, the Olympia backstage is different to the fucking amateur shows. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody at the Olympia, they already made it. Like, they won the shows, they're qualified, they're relaxed. Mm -hmm. So they don't fuck each other, right? They're just to be there to have a good time. To of course, good time. a good time and to remember it.
You already downloaded Talabat? What? You already downloaded Talabat? No, what is this? Bro, is that Talabat? Which store is this from? Everything. Everything. So, okay. so let's say you're looking for chicken, right? Let's go chicken, groceries, and now they're gonna show you. Okay, bad. <laughs> what isn't showing? Ah, chicken breast, okay. They deliver in 25 minutes. Yeah. Whatever you need on chicken. Talabat, okay. We have like. Let me. And you can order cleaners, massage therapists. I did just. I had. I have this. Kareem. Yeah. It's the same. Same, right? That's Dubai. That's the Dubai, Dubai lifestyle. Here you don't do shit. You just pay for it. <laughs> Pulling back, there you go. Contracting here, bringing your elbows back, not your shoulder. Pulling low to your hips. Can you feel? Yep. It's a very simple rowing, but very precise. It's just a special area on your lats. It's like pulling this way, yeah, not, yeah, not back. Like through your pocket. Exactly. Yeah. Yes, good. Yeah. <laughs> Contract it, yes, good. <laughs> nice, Mike. to the last exercise which is gonna be that pull down. Is it a parata machine? Yes, yes it is. Sir. I love this machine, it's so good. We already did three row movements and now we're doing one last back exercise which is gonna be a pull down. Squeeze the shit out of this lats at the end of the workout and that's will it, that's a wrap. Try to stretch out and bring to your hips. Okay. Stretch over, bring to your hips. So this is a, the little difference that we do. His way of approaching to the workout. I, I, I don't do this usually. I go heavier. I do one really heavy six to eight, maybe five reps heavy set. And then I do one back off set. So I do like two sets per exercise. Yeah. Yeah. That's it, like super low volume. I trained high volume before, didn't work for me. Yes, I can, I, can, I can eat more because you burn more. It's not like the low volume, but what I found works for me is the low volume. So this is again, it's not a bad way. I actually feel like super good contraction everywhere, like on the hamstrings, they were burning, but that works for him. Maybe, maybe it should work for me today. I mean, I, I feel pumped, but I like it. I mean, it's, it's, it's just a different approach. Everybody's different. Everybody's structure and body is different and reacts different to certain exercises. That's not how I always train. Okay. Like we have really high volume. We did like four, five, 
five exercises for hams, four exercises for back, just in one day, which is basically like 40 sets. Like, <laughs> incredible. And, you know, I'm 17, 18 weeks out to the show, so I have enough food to cover that, to recover that. As we come closer to the show, the intensity goes up, the volume comes down. So I have more rest in between. Make that sense? Stretch it out and bring it back. Come here and now go back. There you go. Get it? <laughs> it's very good. Този сет е специално за моите българи. I guess I was like 12, 13 years old and all my friends were 16, 17, 18 years so I was like around older people and I always was a you know, little guy, the smaller guy, the guys they already had their cars, motorcycles, allowed to drink alcohol, going to parties. And I was the kid always, you know, behind them and hiding in the parties. Like, I was partying with them. There was a time they made fun of it. So, and if you want to establish yourself in the group, you have to do some things what proves that you're part of it. Like, doing some very, very, like, bad things or super amazing stuff just to prove that you're part of the game. There was, there was a time right before I competed, I guess it was when I was 15 something, and one of those guys is very, he's drawing pictures, cartoons, so he's a visual artist, and he called me badass, and he painted me as a bodybuilder when I was 15 years old, and it's almost 14, 15, 14 years ago that I got the name the badass. Because like I was always the fucking little guy beating the olders. So if somebody said something about the small guy, I need you know stand up and you know like prove that I'm fucking part of the game. That it's like a kind of funny story, but that's how I got the name. And this is the funny thing. His his nickname is Mike the Badass, but he's the sweetest dude out here maybe in this gym. <laughs> it's like so controversial. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> but 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 let me tell you one thing, and you can ask my wife. If it's time to show the badass, you can I'm show it. I'm going to fucking pull your yeah. head off your yeah. body. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm the same way. No fucking rules. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> <laughs> Но определено Майк е един от най-добрите хора, които съм срещал. Още от миналата година, аз го знам от 2021-а се познаваме. В Польша се състезавахме заедно на прошлото, тогава той го спечели. Аз мисля, че аз станах последен тогава. Но да, още миналата година, преди да се квалифицира за Олимпия, той постоянно ме чекваше как съм, добре ли съм. И така, един от най-добрите е наистина олимпийци, с които можех да тренирам днес. So, Майк, we're just doing a quick outro. We're gonna go have uh, our post workout. What are you gonna have post workout? Cream of rice. Cream of rice. So no, it's called rice cream. It's called rice cream because he has all, his own brand. I had 
Oh, you have? Yeah, I, I, I have the patent, so nobody else is allowed to produce it, but they did it anyway. So they're left. multi-billion company, so mm. I had to choose, okay, should I start to fight or just, you know, leave it to somebody else and forget about my baby. Yeah. But I'm still using my own bread. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. So I'm having the same um, post workout. So really glad that we met today. We're going to, uh, we'll be here, so we're going to do some more sessions. Maybe go to uh, Abdullah's gym. The dungeon. The dungeon. The big dungeon. You know, we can focus more on the workouts there because here is like so. Super busy. It's super busy. I know. And then they're like. The dungeon was the first gym I trained here in Dubai. And Abdullah was the first person I met in Dubai. Yeah. And if you can see that, lots of love, a lot of greetings to you. Thank you so much. Best person in Dubai. Guys, check out the dungeon, the power building gym the power in Dubai. Gym Amazing in Dubai. place. Yeah. And if you want to check Mike's Instagram, YouTube, everything is gonna we're gonna put it here on the screen. So make sure you follow him. Could you link my OnlyFans account? I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mike the badass. <laughs> Ай ви пробвали не тук. Приключихме с тренировката, това беше за днеска. Надявам се да ви харесал Binal Gym. Уникална зала, има адски много неща. Вътре имате пет ресторанта, има три магазина за добавки, има частна зала, в която тренират само хора като Big Rami, като някакви такива по-известни личности. Много неща има, просто трябва да си тук, за да миниш през всичко. Може би някой ден ще направим тур. Примерно, да, ще направим тур с валката, ще минем през абсолютно всичко, понеже има адски много неща. Има само Legroom, тук е абе, огромна. Но общо взето тренировката с Майк стана хубава и да. Това ще е за днеска, надявам се да, да, ви, да ви е харесало и ще се видим в следващия клип. А между другото, тези тениски, когато гледате този клип, най-вероятно ще са дропнали. Така че това е новата тениска от New Blood колекцията. Реално е същата тениска, която беше същия модел, който беше миналия път, само че е off-white цвят с бяла штампа, а, с черна штампа. Качеството, както винаги правим в България, най-високо качество ще има само 99 лимитирани бройки. Така че, който се интересува, страница в Instagram е New Blood Clothing. Нека пише там на личното съобщение и оттам се правят поръчки. Оверсайзът, така че разполагаме само с три размера. S, M и L. Това е. За повече информация там, благодаря, че гледахте и ще се ви следващия път.